Hi, I'm Rodney Sharp, owner and president of Sharp Grade International. Today, I'd like to introduce to you our latest model, the Sharp Grade G116. So this is a grader blade, very similar to its bigger brother, the G128. The G116 is 116 inches, or 10 foot 8, when it's uh, open, but when it's narrow, it's down to 75 inches. Uh, which is 1.9 metres, so full width is 2.95 and it's down to 1.9 when it's narrow. So that is narrow enough to allow you to grade compacted surfaces, but wide enough for mid-frame machines to cover the tracks. So a very good in-between size. This also, like the G128, has a rear blade on it and side wings. And these side wings can uh, go forwards or reverse, so you can cut, trim, carry, transfer, spill or windrow all on the one machine and because this has a rear blade on it you can do it forward and reverse. So some of the features on it are twin parabolic mirrors and these are mounted outboard and these allow you to see the wing and the blade in any position so you can see the wing when it's fully back or fully forward, so a great feature. Because we don't have a, an A-frame and a circle drive, our gooseneck can be a lot narrower, which gives you better visibility. So the operator can see both of these mirrors outside of the cylinders, so they can see they've got an unimpeded view of the blade. So great feature to have. You notice that we have a frame here in front of the mirrors, so if you're working in a construction site and you're working around rebar, if you hit rebar, then this will protect the mirror. So um, just all these little things that we do to make it better for the operator. Now, the side wing can go forwards or reverse. And these are not toys, these are proper wings that are designed for grading. So they have a proper cutting edge on them and the cutting edge is armoured. You can see the tungsten granule weld hard face here and right on across the tip as well. Now this allows you to pierce the ground when you're grading hard and it's similar to a coulter blade on a plough is that it fractures the material and uh, allows the blade to penetrate and this wing covers the shoe so that the shoe is easy to glide along the ground and the blade can penetrate into the ground. So that's a really good feature. But these are built for tr trimming. The, this is not a blade for just pushing out loose material. This is designed to cut and trim. One of the issues when running an angled blade close to a curb is that you, if the blade touches a curb, then it does significant damage to the curb. Now, if you're running a wing, uh, it reduces it, but what we do is we put a rounded surface on the corner of the wing. So if you do uh, graze the curb, then it doesn't damage it, it just rubs off it. So just little features like this make it easy for the operator, more confident because he can see in his mirror and we do little things like making it rounded so that if you do touch the curb, you don't create a lot of damage. Now, you also notice that we have large wheels, so these are 26 inch diameter wheels, 660 mils. When you're working with a grader blade, you're always working with a windrow. So we run large wheels so you can get over a windrow. If you're running a, a grader blade with small wheels, you'll always have issues. So we, we run tall wheels. You notice the dimension between the wheels and the, the wing. We've pulled the wheels in so that you can fit a windrow in here. Traditionally, you would run it in the middle but what happens, you lose your step over when you do that. So what we've done is we've closed up the wheels and so now you can run it, uh, because this is a narrower blade, you can run it, the windrow in this area here without having the wheel run over it. And that gives you the maximum step over and that's what we're about, is about maximum efficiency. Now you notice that the pivot point for the walking beam is down low. Now this is a patented feature that only sharp grades have. The lower you have your pivot point, the less wheel scuff you have when you're turning. Traditional 
walking beams are pivoted here and so you have a high degree, a high attack angle which, which causes the wheels to roll over and scuff and roll the, the tyres off the rims. That is rectified by shifting your pivot point down as low as practical. So we're the only ones in the industry that do that. This is completely sealed, has our hardy lube bushes in it. These are fully sealed and grease free. So there's nothing on this um, sharp grade G116 that you need to grease. So a nice compact feature uh, gives you great visibility and you can see right down into this area. The blade is supported off three quad rod linkages so the blade remains vertical throughout its travel. Now they are sealed, shielded and lifetime lubricated so you never have to grease any of the linkages. Same as the cylinders all have our own design sphericals on the end which are sealed and shielded so everything has steel shields on them to keep the grit out. We're really focused on uh, low maintenance and maximum uptime. So these are all the little things that we do to give you that, that maximum uptime. The um, curved blade means you can carry a lot of material and roll it and reduce segregation. Now because we, we don't have a, um, an A-frame and circle drive, we can take all of the mass that would normally be put into that and we can put it into the blade and make the blade stronger and more robust. So by mounting the cylinders directly on the chassis and directly to the blade using zero clearance spherical joints that are sealed, we can make the blade super rigid. So this blade will grade more accurately than any other design because of that. Now, you wonder why the cylinders are on a particular angle. Now this is uh, because we focus on a, a, an issue called cross coupling, where if you shift one side of the blade, the other side reacts with the same amount, which is what happens on a traditional grader. We do not have a centre pivot and we do not have an A-frame, so we have the quad rod linkages. So we can lift and lower one side of the blade and the opposite side of the blade, this point here, will stay completely on grade. And that means we do not have to anticipate what's happening, we can just control each side completely independently, which means you can grade quicker and more accurately. So this is the first grader blade on the market, aside from its bigger brother, the G128, that has zero cross coupling. So it's a real industry first. Because we don't have a, an A-frame or circle drive, it means everything is open. So the visibility is better. It means we can carry material in the rear. Now, and it also means we can run twin blades. Now, if you have an A-frame pivoted from the front, as the blade rises and falls, your, your blades rise and fall. So you'll cut at a different height, forward and reverse. Whereas because of our quad rod linkage and our blade goes up and down vertically, we are unaffected by what position we run our blade. Therefore, we can run a blade forward and reverse. It's all these little features that's gone into making this product that make it so much better. We uh, have our, our standard galvanized laminated laser poles. Now, the, the laminating reduces the vibration into the receiver if you're running laser receivers, and they're also graduated. So that's our standard pole that we run on all sharp grades and it's a, just a feature that we do to um, increase accuracy of our, of our receivers. The wings can fold completely to the, to the front as, as you can see or, or to the rear. Now these, all these bushes here, we have long bushes in them. These are completely sealed and these got hardy lube bushes in them and they're completely sealed. So you don't have to grease these at all. So they're lifetime lubricated. Same with all of, all of our cylinders. But you can see it's built robust. So these are not toys, they're designed for trimming. And, uh, and it's, it's nice and robust and rigid. So um, we, we run the biggest cylinders on our wings in, in the industry. Um, and we run the largest pins. And that's because we want it to be robust and uh, last for a long time before it needs uh, maintenance. You can see the shoe is armoured with uh, tungsten, so it can handle a lot of wear, because this, this point here when the, wheel, when the wing is 
folded, this point here is going to be um, doing the work. So just a nice design that allows you to penetrate the ground and gives you long service life. The G116 comes standard with our quad grade 2D control system which integrates with all major base machine manufacturers so we can plug into a Bobcat, a Cat, a Deer, you name it we can plug into it so where our Direct Connect operates directly off the handle so we can integrate to any machine and we can run all of our functions off the handle so if you're running a Bobcat for instance here we can integrate directly into the Bobcat handles and not have to have any additional joysticks or anything like that. We use Eaton high performance linear proportional valves. Now these are quicker than standard load sense valves, that's why we use them. But we have electronic load sense on board in this, in this valve. This valve is rated to 180 litres a minute, so it'll handle the highest flow of any skid steer uh, out there. All our, our hoses are armoured, so if they rub or get uh, aggregate on them, they won't, they won't get damaged. So just little things like this that add to the longevity. You can see how open it is without having a, an A-frame and circle drive. So that allows us to carry material to the rear. The rear blade is pivoting and it's very important to have a pivoting blade because if you don't, the material will pack in there and you'll have a levelling bar and, and you won't be able to trim. So we always have a pivoting rear blade to allow us to keep those blades free and open. As with all sharp grades, it comes with a step, which makes it easy to get into the cab. But one of the critical things is we have our adjustable hitch plate, and all sharp grades have an adjustable hitch plate. When you're running twin blades, it is very important to have an adjustable hitch plate, otherwise the rear blade will trim at a different height to the front blade. But when you're running side wings, it's even more critical to have your box level, otherwise the, the, the wing will prescribe an arc when it comes from forward to reverse and you'll get a difference in grade height. So if you're running a, a, a grader blade with side wings that doesn't have a, an adjustable hitch plate, um, accuracy on your wing is a joke. So that's why we run an adjustable hitch plate. It's very innocuous but it's absolutely critical for precision grading. And you can see that we can set our blade perfectly level with the ground and that's because we have an adjustable hitch plate. So our quad rod linkage, you can see how it transfers the load directly from the blade, directly back and straight into the hitch of the machine. And you can see how low it's set. Now this, this transfers the load right down into the base of the machine and stops the attachment from rearing up. Whereas with a traditional A-frame, it comes back through the gooseneck at the top and then it always wants to ro raise the machine up. So there's a lot of design has gone into the, to the quad rod linkage and, putting, and making it where it is. But the critical thing is the load comes directly into here so then we don't have to have a big bulky A-frame and gooseneck that, that is really heavy. We can take all of that and take the weight and mass of that and put it into the blade and shift the mass back into the center of the blade which is where you need it. And this means we can run a more robust design that's easier to lift than having a bulky A-frame circle drive and, and gooseneck. So there's a lot of thought gone into this design. You can see we've tapered the sides here so the operator can see straight down and into the rear of the blade. So um, it's very easy to operate and he can look forward and see the mirrors and because they're parabolic he can see the wings and right across his blade on both sides and that gives him confidence to, to grade and the curved edge on the wing allows you to go right up to a curb because you can see and that's because we don't have a circle drive all that big bulky area there so a lot of good features on this design so it shares a lot of the design with its bigger brother, the G128, which is the largest grader blade that you can buy for a skid steer. So all of these linkages and cylinders are, are compatible with 
its bigger brother. So this is a very robust unit. It's just a little smaller and a more compact to fit mid-frame machines. So if you're running a mid-frame machine, 75 to 90 horse, this is the greater blade for you. I hope you found this video informative. If you'd like any more information, please visit our website, www.sharpgrade.com. There you'll find a list of our dealers throughout the world and links to more information and videos and, and brochures. So please feel free to uh, visit us and thank you for your time.